So one of the things I'm really interested in is how we get meetings beyond Zoom. Uh, it's kind of a bit of these uh, lots of video calls. And one of the promising uh, domains is avatar-based worlds, you know, using either VR, VR or AR or where we can get images of each other. And uh, so Spatial is one of the companies in that space. Uh, you know, perhaps just sort of show a quick clip of some of the work which they're doing and, and interested to hear your thoughts. I mean, you, you pointed me to some of their work. I've blogged about it as well. So what, how, what do you think this kind of world could do for us? Well, this is going to be really interesting. And one of the things I see is that once we get back to some level of normalcy or whatever it's going to be called, a uh, new level of weirdness, <laughs> who knows, um, when, when we get back to traveling or et cetera, you know, companies are going to slash their travel budgets. It's not going to be necessarily like it used to be. Um, so, you know, I think that they're going to be like uh, using more headsets. So sp something like spatial, um, you know, you put on your headset, like you see here, you put on your headset and you can uh, see in your office uh, the avatars of your other colleagues. And they're pretty, you know, pretty uh, realistic looking avatars, not quite perfect. Um, but having those me meetings and have that concept of presence is huge. Um, I'll give you an example. When I was at Magic Leap, we would have our weekly sales meetings in spatial. Um, and I remember I was in my office right. at home and I had my daughter come in and, you know, I'm wearing my headset. I'm talking to, you know, talking to people, <laughs> but she's like, what are you doing mom? Cause she doesn't see anyone in the room. She's like, what is this? Why is, who's my mom talking to? And I took my headset off and I put it, put it on her and all of a sudden she saw about 10 or 11 avatars of my coworkers in my office and the spreadsheet. And uh, all of a sudden she's like, oh, mom, I totally get it. You're super busy. Um, so, huh. so, yeah, I mean, this technology is already being used for meetings. It's, it's extremely powerful and it's the closest we, get, we can get to that sense of presence without actually being there in real life. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm a big believer in the, this idea that we will have avatars, avatar-based meetings. So the thing for that, for me, is how do you get the avatar to truly represent not just the person, but also their face and their facial expressions? You know, the classic things of, you know, getting the, um, you know, how do you pick up uh, facial things when you've got something on your face if you're wearing a headset? So I'm really interested in just what, you know, your, what you're seeing could unfold and how we can get some hyper-realistic avatars, including facial expressions in, uh, in these uh, you know, avatar-based meetings. So with spatial, you actually, when I talk, my lips move and um, like my eyes blink. Like They do a lot of things with the avatar that make it not as stiff um, and, and, and obviously not as cartoony. I think you will see with more headsets having eye tracking, um, having you know hand tracking as well, um, you're going to be seeing a lot more of that kind of realistic looking, you know, facial expressions. Um, you know, from what I've seen, the research that Facebook has been doing, I mean, they're pretty far along when it comes to Facebook fa facial expressions for avatars in the future. They have, they have what they call the codec avatars, and they're pretty impressive. So definitely, you know, I see that progressing. Um, you know, there's still going to be room for the cartoony, more virtualized versions of ourselves in, let's say, Fortnite or Animal Crossing, uh, what have you. But, you know, from a business standpoint, uh, it'll probably be more realistic avatars, right? So um, I also think volumetric capture is something that is eventually going to bring more of that real you into this virtual presence.